Okay, so this is another um, Whelping Box, Whelping Area Chronicles, because you need to know what you're getting into if it's your first time breeding. This is just a first time breeding tip as <laughs> a favor to everyone on what I wish I knew before I went into this. So um, this is the room that we've kind of designated to the dogs and for the puppies. Um, the carpet did not look like this originally. It wasn't in perfect condition, but we knew like, okay, we'll take any money that we make, which right now is negative thousands, um, and we'll reinvest it and hopefully, you know, get a, a better floor. But, you know, carpet is actually really good on the dog's paws. Um, concrete and tile can be too hard of a surface and can actually cause joint issues. So we're like, well, let's keep the carpet and then maybe put rubber down or, um, you know, waterproof flooring of some type that's a bit softer, like a floating floor. So anyways, that was our decision. <laughs> But uh, we, we may have regretted that because the amount of nature's miracle that we've had to go through with carpet, even by, you know, covering up this area where the vinyl was, um, it's ridiculous. Nature's miracle is not too expensive, but it ain't cheap. The natural ones are even more expensive. I think uh, Rocco and Roxy is our favorite, but it's $50 a gallon on Amazon and on their website. But that one is like instant magic. So I get why they can afford to charge that. Nature's Miracle works pretty well. It gets up the smell. You just have to let it sit, um, which can be hard when you have a carpet cleaner. <sighs> so we put some in a spray bottle, spray the whole carpet, let it sit, and then wash it up. So... We're at kind of a fun point um, in transitioning where we're doing the crate training. Pups are almost 10 weeks old now. Um, the people who are getting our pups as part of their base program, we're working on starting to send the pups home. Those that are staying with us in the full program, we're getting heavy into training. Martingale collars are starting to come in. Um, we've got each pup one customized to the color that we gave them at birth just as a token, you know, for their owner since the pups destroyed their whelping collars. Um, I am recording the video request that came in on how to pick your puppy. It's a very hard video to do, um, but I, I have the standard I'm filming that and, and then I'm going to stack up the standard to a couple puppies to show you guys how to pick yours. So that is coming. I have not forgotten about it. It's just really, really a long, intensive video to shoot. And if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right um, to make sure you guys know, like I'm not an expert in it. That's why I went to a judge, but I've learned from reading the Il Cane Corso book and from going to the judge about the standard. So um, I just wanted to share this. So basically the issue with carpet and whelping is the ammonia smell. Um, unless you're watching your pups 24 seven, the ammonia is gonna sink into the carpet, into the pad, and it's probably even in our concrete at this point. So uh, at some point we're gonna have to rip this all up. Um, but basically what we've been doing in the meantime is using our vacuum, our steamer, spraying the carpet with, you know, nature's miracle, cleaning it with nature's miracle, and it gets the ammonia smell away. One thing I did not realize is you can actually die <laughs> depending on which chemicals you use to clean up dog urine. I thought that was a joke or a bait headline as you will probably see when you know you click on this video like the heck is she talking about but if you mix bleach with urine it creates uh, chloronic gas. I didn't take chemistry class. I had no idea, but our house uh, just blew up with the smell because I ran out of vinegar, nature's miracle, 
And I said, okay, I know bleach won't stop them from smelling it, but hopefully it just kills the germs, you know, where they, they've pooped that night, and I will get, go to the store and get some Nature's Miracle tomorrow. <laughs> Big mistake. Um, we had to evacuate all the pups, and I had to uh, do loads and loads of steam cleaning with hot water to get the bleach uh, out of the carpet because it was causing our adult dogs to sneeze and cough and you know the pups were fine my eyes were turning red so it it's uh it's not a scientific theory it's a fact <laughs> so i know they tell you don't use bleach to clean up urine and that is because you could literally die within 30 minutes of being exposed to chloronic gas so um just a word to the wise there um but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the damage um, because I've heard I've turned some people off from breeding, which is I'd rather you know what you're getting into so you don't become extremely stressed out and have mental breakdowns like I have. But, you know, the pups have ripped up our carpet. The smell in here is atrocious. You know, if there was a smell tube, you would pay money to never smell what we smell in our house. So our entire family um, has had to be patient with the pups despite our, be you know, best efforts. And, and that's why um, at some point I'm going to do a video soon on, you know, uh, the, the good and bad of breeders and purchasers because purchasers have done things that cause breeders to become a certain way and um, it's just a vicious cycle. So you can't really judge anybody until you've done this process because I can totally understand why people put their dogs outside. Like you're breathing in serious ammonia unless you found a really good system if they're living in your house with you after a certain time period so you know that's just my recommendation um pups are still doing great we did actually have one poo accident uh today but that was the first one ever in the last 24 hours so one poop out of 11 pups is a lifesaver the quicker you can get to crate training the better because my goodness i wish i did this sooner the pups, like, I've eliminated laundry, number one, saves you lots of time and saves your washing machine. That's a whole other subject that I'll go into another day. Number two, we are no longer having to buy uh, pine shavings. So those I get to return. I get $20 back in my pocket because, uh, unfortunately, the tractor supply ones, even though they're 5 bucks, they don't mask any smell whatsoever. And then, um, so we have no laundry anymore. We have no litter to clean up. That's basically stained our carpet, gotten in with the food and the poop and, you know, just created a mess. And um, is getting tracked throughout our whole house. And um, then in the morning, our routine is really just focusing on the dog. So we freed up our time to do a lot more training, have one-on-one -on -one time with the puppies um, more than before and uh, they're learning to potty outside which is ideally what benefits our future families so this is probably the funnest uh, thing that's ever happened because I'm just I don't know what to do with myself I have so much more time to invest on training and things like that at a time where the pups are at a really good age to do that so clean up is down to maybe an hour a day because I just need to clean up the crates with some paper towels, some, you know, uh, wipes, and my nature's miracle. So that's all we're, we're down to. The pups don't like it as much, so we give them a lot more outdoor playtime. And then after we get into this routine with very few accidents in the crates, we're going to uh, allow them to play in this area. Um, once we get most of the smell out and see how they do under supervised play. But like to the level of cleaning you have to do when the pups escape, you know, there is sawdust in our gates. There is poop in our shelves. There is poop on our couch. And uh, I found this nice spot the other day. There is poop 
and toys behind the couch, on the walls, on the windows, and uh, you just, you don't have time to deal with it every day unless you're doing this full time. So, you know, that is the challenge. You know, just poop, 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 poop everywhere. And so this is after we've actually washed the carpet. Um, so I don't even know if we'll ever be able to get it clean, but you know, you can see the full outline of where <laughs> the welding pen was. Um, but ultimately if we can just get to a place where we don't smell the ammonia as strong as before, we'll be happy. And we've basically had to throw out all soft bedding. Uh, that's the last one left because Phoenix absolutely loves soft bedding so I got to go buy her a new one but that's where we're at so it's been a bit crazy um, but just wanted to bring you another reveal of what whelping inside is like and tell you what to expect but getting to this stage god it feels like hitting a home run because it's so much easier and more fun and now the dogs are going home so you just can't win um but lots of other stuff coming your way like the cost um you know a sneak peek is a massive uh that's not what we're feeding the pups but that's what we're feeding the dogs but basically are going through a 30 pound bag in less than three days at this point another reason why even though it's better for the dogs to go home later to save you time and training costs and socialization, less biting, you know, save you time and energy. Nobody wants to pay a lot for a dog. So breeders, if they do keep the dog, the food cost goes up exponentially week over week. It's, it's not even funny. I've kept my receipts so I can show you guys on a graph, but it's uh, insane. So I think people really need to learn to balance the amount they expect to pay for a quality puppy a trained puppy well socialized and trained um ready to go home versus you know a, a cheaper dog because you really are going to get what you pay for and i think we need to really consider paying a bit more for dogs because it will help the entire ecosystem less dogs in the shelter um you know, if you want a cheap dog, get a rescue. If you want to invest in a purebred, they have a very specific function, you know, pay a little more so breeders can take really good care of your dog and do the things that they need to do and spend the money that they need to spend, you know, to do those decisions that will benefit you in the long run. So uh, lots of good stuff coming your way. I should have a lot more time coming up. I'm just super, super busy getting the pup contract complete. We have ear crops next week for those who want them and um, getting that video out that you guys requested, you know, is coming. So um, stay tuned. Lots and lots of great contact uh, content to come and uh, can't wait to get your guys feedback on it.